Hey Spartan Mark 7s, you'll be happy to know you're about to be joined by your new baby brother, and he comes in orange. <laughs> What have these intros to my videos become? <laughs> All right, hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today, I am celebrating with the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. Now, you may be wondering, Simon, am I experiencing deja vu here? You've already done a Marine Platoon Pack video. Yes. I have, I couldn't get hold of this for the longest time. So my good friend Bam Bam Productions filmed an unboxing and I narrated over the top. But now I have this set and I just had to get a hands-on impression. I am sure you guys will understand. If you have to get two videos of anything, it better be Marine Platoon Pack. I mean, this thing, there is endless good things to say about this set. First of all, the packaging is epic. It shows this desperate platoon of Marines. They've been pinned down and they've just received a Spartan reinforcement. It's even got the ring in the background. This is straight out of Halo Infinite. And I particularly like that everybody has a role. We've got the UNSC Marine Technician, Demolition, Survivor, the normal Marine. I guess that one is just a Marine, but then also a sniper. And this is not the first UNSC sniper we got in 2020, and maybe, I mean, I think they'll just continue. Why not? I think the more you can customize the Marines, the more you can give them personality, different genders, skin tones, different armor variations, it's just going to excite people more and get everybody more engaged with, with this epic building product. I can't wait to get hold of that tack pad. There's some awesome weapons. I especially like this Marine survivor. I guess he's a survivor because he doesn't have any armor. He's, he's lost it all or something. He, he's just surviving. So we're gonna tear this open, guys, and I'm filming these in a very strange order at the minute. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah! Wow, there we go. Nothing like a bit of brute force, but two of them, they hung in there. <laughs> Come on, Spartan! Report for duty! Your Marines need you. Spartan's got a battle rifle, then there's a sniper and a comms pack that needs to come out. The UNSC Marine... <laughs> Sorry, loud. The UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. 138 pieces of pure glory. And really one of the best value sets Mega Constructs has ever released. I say that a lot, but 2020 really has been a year for value, so I'll keep on saying it. Tear this bag open and check out what's inside. There's a lot of little bits here. Oof. You could so easily lose these assault rifle uh, scope things. We just need to start releasing more scopes regularly in our sets. The Spartan Mark 7 in orange. I just love this little Mark 7 army I'm building up. It's such an epic armor. I'm actually one of those guys, and I know I'm not alone. I've seen a lot of recent comments that are related to this. I know that a lot of people prefer the actual, like, base Spartans that release with a game over most of the others. When Halo 4 came out, I love Spartan Recruit and Spartan Warrior more than any other. I mean, just look at Halo Reach. The Noble 6 Spartan is the base recruit, and he is just beloved by the community. All right, I mean, where do we start? start with this set. We've got to get all the armors to the appropriate figures. So let's try and mimic it. All right, so we've got the UNSC Marine Technician. He is complete, or she is complete. That's the Ellen DeGeneres figure there. I've seen a lot of memes of her in the community. She's got very strange white eye pieces. It looks more like makeup than the actual eyes because it's like underneath the eye points, like the little needle pricks that they put in. All right, then we've got this figure here. They've just removed some armor, so, you know, you have the option of, like, building something. As Mega Constructs, like, as a company, Mega Constructs, when you buy something, you need to be able to, like, start to put some pieces pieces together, like this is the marine sniper. I guess it's, is it not the marine sniper this time? No, the female this time is just the UNSC marine. And she's got a helmet there, very nice. Okay, there's not, yeah, I guess there's not really any other armor. There's a little pad here. I guess we can attach that to anyone with a leg strap, because most of them don't actually have leg straps. It's just, a, it's just actually two of them that have leg straps. So that's all right, we'll put that on the female. And then let's pop some backpacks in. I've recorded a crazy amount of videos today and I'm just gonna be pumping them out like day after day. I'm trying to really just maximize my growth over January. We just hit 29K subscribers. So I want to get to 30 as quickly as possible. Like grow, grow, grow at the minute. Let's just do it. I tried to put as much time aside as possible for this channel and uh, let's just keep on building. Let's just keep on growing together right now. Let's utilize our time. All right, so we'll give the radio backpack to this fella, the glorious 
Gorgeous tack pad. Probably the nicest printed detailing Mega Constructs has ever made. This thing is gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. So this guy, like literally they're pinned down. You can see on the tack pad, there's a big red ring. I imagine banished forces are everywhere and they're just pinned down. They've got one Spartan left. It's a desperate attempt to survive. He can have the sidekick pistol as well. I'm pretty much just gonna give them the same stuff that they have on the packaging. And then the mounted machine gun turret, I'll give to this Marine and also the assault rifle. It's also really sweet to get hold of another one of these turrets. These mounted machine gun turrets have had a deep, long history with Mega Construct. I mean, they were definitely here before Mega Constructs when Mega Blocks was on the scene. My favorite set to have one of these in was the Covert Ops Fire Team with ODSTs. I mean, it was so epic, that set. Some of those old Covert Ops Toys R Us sets were ridiculous. Old style battle rifle to the Spartan Mark VII. I see a lot of people, uh, I guess what people are worried about the most is if their favorite weapons aren't going to make it into Halo Infinite. I think it's very, very unlikely that we would have the sidekick pistol, but not the Magnum. I think that would be completely foolish. So I don't really think that many weapons are going to be left out. If you look at Halo 5, in fact, Halo 5, like, basically had every single weapon ever. Also, I guess on the packaging, the Marine Survivor doesn't have a helmet. I guess I'll take his helmet off for this one. He looks really nice. That's actually a really well-printed face. That's our set, guys. Let's switch up the camera angle and get these Marines positioned nicely. Just like that, my friends, we have got the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. This is six action figures, all with accessories, base plates, even extra grenades, tack pads, uh, ammunition belts, this is so wild. And even for the price point as well, like this doesn't cost any more than like at most $20 from retailers. So this is a wild product for a wild time, you know? <laughs> A wild time we live in, and Mega Constructs knows that. They're giving us some wild, wild products. This is epic, guys. Especially, I didn't even mention this little grenade that comes with it. I would not hold out for flashbangs in Halo Infinite. I think Mega Constructs is just a little more expressive. They've just included that random Call of Duty grenade, so I wouldn't put any hope on that. This is awesome, guys. This is really, really awesome. We've got the UNSC Spartan Mark VII. Take the stage, buddy. You are awesome. Then we've got the UNSC Marine Technician with his very detailed tack pad. We've got a UNSC Sniper. No fire team is complete without sniper support. The Marine Survivor, almost no armor left, just battle rifle in hand. He's doing his best to survive. The UNSC Marine Demolition, taking out any high priority targets in sight. That defense point showdown, better be scared tonight. And the last one, this UNSC Marine, he's nameless, but he's making a name for himself. He's wielding an assault rifle and a machine gun at the same time. These are all epic. I could not be happy with these and I recorded this video ahead of my massive diorama because I'm going to include all of these in my diorama alongside every other marine I have. It's going to be a very exciting time. I'm going live tomorrow morning. This will come out so much later after that. So let me know in the comments, did you manage to get this marine platoon pack? Which is the standout figure to you? I actually really like this white shirt on the marine, but I also really enjoy the fact that they're diversifying their skin tones like all across the board. It's a really cool step forward and this Mark 7 is absolutely awesome. I love that orange color. This was another video with the domain and the marine sniper is sniping off.